Hello everyone, this is Brian McInerney, the hydrologist with the National Weather Service, and this is a water supply briefing for the month of April 2013. Let's start off and we'll look at the weather patterns that brought us to this point. Now understand this is a very simplistic rendition of a very complex process. There were some other storms that snuck in and out of Utah, but the major pattern had a high pressure that built in over about 140 degrees longitude and that shifted the major storm activity to the north of us but at one point about the 9th 10th and 11th there was a small storm that skirted underneath the high and produced some pretty significant snow down in southern Utah with the exception of a few storms that were here and there that were very small we really didn't get much storm activity again and that was really unfortunate because March is a very wet month let's take a look at snowpack now the first drainage we'll look at, and this is the average of all of the snow in these drainages, we're going to look at a graphic that has snow water equivalent in inches on the y-axis and time starting in October for a full, full year on the x-axis. The median from 1981 to 2010 is in purple. 2013, the current year, is in navy. 2012 is in green. And 2011, which was our very big year, is in red. We can see the Bear River drainage is at 64% of normal. When we move a little bit south to the Weber drainage, and these are the mountains to the east of the Ogden area, we're at 68% of normal. When we look at the Six Creeks area, these are the mountains to the east of Salt Lake County, we're at 69% of normal. Utah Lake, and these are the mountains to the east of Utah County, are at 59% of normal. The Duchesne River Group, which is the southern aspect of the UN, is at 68% of normal. The Green River in Wyoming at 72% of normal. The Lake Powell, which includes all the drainages flowing out of Colorado and the Green River itself in Utah at 72% of normal. The Severe at 72% of normal, kind of in south central Utah. And then down in southwest Utah and the Virgin at 60% of normal. Now let's look at precipitation. We'll start in October. Well, we've had a pretty good year at the start of October for northern Utah, but the rest was below average. These graphics show cool colors at above normal, warm colors at below normal. And we'll look at November, mostly below normal. We'll look at December, which was a very good month and, and kept us at least in the game. January was below normal except for southeast Utah. February below normal throughout the entire area. And March below normal also, and this was unfortunate. We could have used some good storm activity in March to bolster our numbers. And the overall, when you look at the water year for 2013, uh, we are below average. Now a temperature. This data was taken at the Salt Lake City Airport if everything was bang on average for this area, we wouldn't have any boxes going up or down. down. But October, but November, November, December, December, December shows above normal, above normal temperatures, with January, with January and February, February heavily influenced by the inverted air mass, and very cold temperatures. 11 degrees below normal in January, about 4.2 degrees below normal in February, with March at about 1 degree above. And this is at the Salt Lake City Airport. So let's take a look at the water supply forecast for April through the end of July and we'll look at the Great and Colorado Basin overview. So here's the area we forecast for. When we see where we are as far as April 1st, not a good picture. Less than 50% of normal through a great majority of these areas. Other areas are between 50 and 60% of normal, but we anticipate right around half of what we typically get for this year. And our reservoir conditions are a little bit lower than they typically are, and it's estimated that we could be in with reservoir contents at 40% of normal by the start of 2014's water year. So there you have it. This is Brian McInerney, hydrologist with the National Weather Service. There's my contact information. Feel free to give me a call if I can help you with anything else. Thank you.